about karma or duty what is our duty how is it connected but the point that shrimad uh, bhagavad gita drives here is that you will have to be conscious of what is your swadharma what is your own prescribed duty and um, most importantly what we tend to do is that we tend to look at careers when we choose our careers we are choosing a dharma a passion for it it is your inner purpose so it in a way it will help you we all make mistakes it's not wrong and in the journey of learning your own karma to, how to choose a duty isn't it choose the duty that is your own inborn personal personally aligned duty yeah anything that you do doing it out of your own inner sense ओम नम शिवाय ओम नमो नारायणाय जय श्री राम वेलकम बैक टू द ग्ले स्टूडियो एंड टुडे वी आर सीटेड इफेक्टिवली इन अ न्यू स्टूडियो दैट इज बीन प्रोवाइडेड बाय द सुनबो कम्यून सुनबो वी एक्सट्रा ऑल थैंक्स टू देम फॉर दिस अमेजिंग स्पेस एंड दिस इज आवर टेंथ ब्लॉग ऑन श्री विष्णु सकस्र नामावली कवरिंग द थाउजेंड नेम्स ऑफ श्री विष्णु the painting that i am working on is about that and the painting follows the principle of calligram or micography while i was trying to get to you know writing the names and how do do i do that and such the research also went on a little deeper to understanding what it means what really these names mean why do you have to say these names and such that this now turned out into this weekly vlog that i am sharing these learnings with you also not just looking at the names and their meanings but we are also trying to understand it in the context of some storylines from sanatana dharma also sometimes from bhagavad gita so in today's vlog we are going to cover 10 names as usual and then their meanings and along with it a story comes along so the stories are connected somewhere here definitely the names that we are going to cover today is, will be from 81 to 90 and then the story line is going to be about karma or duty what is our duty how is it connected and such so there's a very important discussion that we are going to have today about our duty and how is that interpreted in terms of bhagavad gita so let's jump into the first part of our vlog which is the 10 names and their meanings we'll start with the 81st name which is om duradarshaya namaha this means one whom none can overcome none in this context refers to asuras asuras can also be interpreted as demons yeah so he is in a way um not uh, possible for the asuras to overcome so he is much stronger let's say the 82nd name is om krutagnyaya namaha krutagnyaya namaha this means one who knows everything about what has been done kruta is that yeah one who knows everything about what has been done by whom by the jivas by us yeah so he knows what we do hmm? also one who is pleased even with those who offer simple offering like uh, leaves flowers even water and this is a very important point this kurtagya has two different contexts there are you know zillion contexts you can take out of it but then here it also refers to the aspect that the god is pleased with very simple uh, offerings like you could just give a piece of flower a uh, fruit or uh, some leaves or even water if you have nothing in prayer and he is pleased with you then it is slightly in stark contrast contrast here yeah? 
that is an oxymoron but it is why is that expected that we should uh, pray then or should we really pray or uh, be very serious about our rituals and such i think there's a lot of questions coming from there we will look into that when we look at the duty isn't it 83rd name is om krutaye namaha this means what is achieved through all human efforts or works we just talked about the contrast and here there is another contradiction so he is pleased in the previous krta <laughs> he uh, he refers to that he is pleased with simple offerings and here there is a loophole yeah it says that it is he can be achieved through all human efforts so there is some work or effort involved what exactly does this mean yeah this is exactly we are going to cover in a short while from now 84th name is om atmavate namaha one who is established in his own greatness requiring no other support than himself i think this is something we have looked into our uh, past videos already so we'll move on 85th name is om sureshaya namaha the lord of the suras or devas we talked about the asuras in the, in one of the names duradarshaya namaha here we talk about the devas so you know th- this can also mean the greatest of those who bestow good so he is the lord of these good people let's say 86th name is om sharanaya namaha Om Sharanaya Namaha. This means one who removes the sorrows of those in distress. So Sharanam is also referring to, you know, sometimes you know, falling at the feet as well in in some contexts. And when you go into the Sharanagati of the Lord, He is there to remove the sorrows and distress that we have. Eighty seventh name is Om. sharmane namaha one who is of the nature of supreme bliss 88th name is om vishwaretase namaha this refers to he who is the seed of the universe 89th name is om praja bhavaya namaha he from whom all beings have originated we talked about this this is exactly what the painting it is all about the garboda chai vishnu from whom everything gets originated 90th name is om anhe namaha this refers to the luminous one he is he being the luminous one so that covers our names from 81 to 90 but we are not done because this kind of you know what exactly does he expect is he so happy with just a glass of water or does he want us to work does he want us to pray what exactly is our karma what exactly is our duty i am confused let's jump into that and we are going to take the help of yes bhagavad gita we are going to look at canto number 3 verse 35 first yeah श्रेयान स्वधर्मो विगुण परधर्मात् स्व अनुष्ठितात् स्वधर्मे निधानम् श्रेयः परधर्मो भया वहाह श्रेयान इट्स फार बेटर before we go into the you know every single words meaning there is a word called dharma that is pointing to one's prescribed duties swadharma refers to one's prescribed duties shreyan what is for better shreyan refers to for better swadharma one's prescribed duties vigunaha even faulty vigunaha refers to even faulty paradharmat than duties mentioned for others para is others para dharma somebody else's duty hmm? 
सुअनुष्ठितात परफेक्टली डन स्वधर्मे इन वन्स प्रिस्क्राइब्ड ड्यूटीज निदानम डिस्ट्रक्शन श्रेय बेटर परधर्मा ड्यूटीज प्रिस्क्राइब फॉर अदर्स बया आव बया आव that refers to dangerous yeah. so let's just put these meanings together here the translation here in english is it is far better to discharge one's prescribed duties even though faulty than others duties perfectly destruction in the course of performing one's own duty is better than engaging in others duties or to follow others paths is dangerous Uh, this is the context here and i'm also trying to look at uh, you know various other meanings possibly here i think it's all similar it is better to perform one's own natural prescribed duty even though tinged with faults than to imitate another's duty that uh, perceived to be perfect even uh, death in the cause of uh, one's inborn dharma is better this this wording is a little nicer in this book here uh, where the, even death in the cause of one's inborn dharma is better while following the dharma of others is fraught with fear so this is kind of giving us the context of karma karma refers to duty uh, in a broader sense but the point that shrimad uh, bhagavad gita drives here is that you will have to be conscious of what is your swadharma what is your own prescribed duty and how do i figure out what is my own prescribed duty that is the challenge isn't it very simple thing of understanding goal versus purpose sometimes you know in a very simple context when we let's say that i get a job somewhere you give me a job and you say this is your goal i want you to do this and this and this today and i want you to finish the, these things by the end of the week and such and i will say that is the goal is that my goal maybe as yes, because this is the job i have accepted from you and i am indebted i have i am expected that i will deliver this to you you are waiting for me to complete it so there is a dharma here there is a duty here but is it my duty i have taken up your duty as mine for which you are paying me simple is it wrong or right it depends now where does it depend it connect to the purpose if my sole purpose has nothing to do with your duty and i am taking it over just for the sake of money or something that you might be giving me then i might not do it so perfectly as you want because it's not in my plate it's not in my inner value to do that can i say for example you know i have nothing to do with medi- medicine i um i'm not a doctor i have not studied i have no understanding of that but if i wanted to help somebody in that and i say okay i'm going to try to do it uh maybe i'll be a failure <laughs> definitely because i i lack the knowledge i lack the technical understanding i, I lack the complete context maybe i can sit with you uh, let's say that you are a doctor and i'm sitting with you for hours and hours learning so many things from you <clears throat> but then um you know it's it is dangerous it is definitely dangerous because i am not the right person isn't it so that's the that's the point it's driving and um, most importantly what we tend to do is that we tend to look at careers when we choose our careers we are choosing a dharma but most of us we do not even know what exactly our purpose is and we are jumping into careers sometimes because that's a very attractive lucrative career or you know it will uh, earn you fortune earn you fame or something if my inbuilt purpose is nothing related to has nothing related to that set of activities then i am going to be a super failure and maybe i will also cause some danger to others because i have yeah not understood it and it's not even a point where i am trying to understand it out of your own effort 
and that's exactly where it says that you could do a faulty thing also it's allowed provided you have a passion for it it is your inner purpose so it in a way it will help you we all make mistakes it's not wrong and in the journey of learning your own karma if you are making mistakes it's okay that's exactly what this verse is pointing to so we talked nicely about what exactly is the karma let's look at his expectation because the krutha krutha related krutagya and krutha ye namaha two of the names were you know pointing to this human efforts but it's also giving a meaning that he is pleased with simple things does he want us to pray or not does he want us to completely renounce everything or not what exactly does he mean by that and for that we are going to go into another canto canto number 5 and verse number 2 This is relating to he is talking about sanyasa sanyasam is you know renunciation and such yeah and that's also a duty so this starts here sanyasa karma yogascha nishreyasa karav yubahu tayostu karma sanyasat karma yogo vishishyate here sanyasah renunciation of work karma yogah devotion in work there are two different things so in the first um, set of wor- the verses that we looked at how to do do a duty we need to how to choose a duty isn't it choose the duty that is your own inborn personal personally aligned duty yeah it's your nature isn't it your own natural duty so choose that duty and do it even if you're doing it wrong he is okay with it that's what he says and that is now the karma yoga done in devotion now he is comparing that he meaning the god is comparing that to renunciation of work sanyasah sanyasah karma yogascha निश्रेयस करव लीडिंग टू द पाथ ऑफ लिबरेशन बोथ ऑफ देम आर इक्वल इन अ वे ही सेज बोथ विल लीड यू टू द पाथ ऑफ लिबरेशन थायो ऑफ द टू बट टू थायो टू सो दैर इज अ कैवियट नाउ कमिंग कर्म संन्यास इन कंपेरिजन टू द रेनसिएशन ऑफ फ्रूट टू वर्क karma yoga ha work in devotion vishishyate is better oh oh he already made a choice so he's not meaning to say that you should not pray you should not sit uh, you know completely in a renunciation and leave everything that is also going to lead to path of liberation so that is not wrong definitely but when he compares both doing your own prescribed natural duty is the choice that he is make he has already underlined that this is vishishyate this is better so we now know that uh, anything that you do doing it out of your own inner sense this for example here the painting that i am working on is something that i am doing because i am enjoying it yeah i really enjoy learning something out of this and i am doing it and i am not very sure that i am the expert at this maybe uh, i will get there one day it's a process so for me this is my karma yoga and i am happy with it yeah and this is okay this is a form of devotion yeah of course i also put in you have seen in my videos by now that you, uh, i also put in some uh, flowers and fruits and i make some puja and such but even if i do not do it i will continue doing this karma 
with full devotion and love and that is in in this process that is my karma yoga i use the learnings into uh, forming that as a book i use all these learnings in some other mode like this for example the video itself and this is something that is giving me pleasure because i am also in the process of learning along with you and i'm sharing it's a very simple word that is being a phrase that is always being said swadhyaya pravashanam cha swadhyaya it's all, it's meaning to keep on learning keep the learning process going pravashanam cha but along with the learning keep sharing as well so sharing the best practices learning and mixing both is something that is also suggested in sanatana sanatana dharma so that is what is giving me pleasure and i am happy to have found this karma yoga what is yours share your thoughts on it of course this is a very huge topic and we have just scratched the surface of it i totally understand that do share your thoughts in this comment section we will delve even deeper into it with the help of your questions this learning gets more and more interesting only with your questions the more we question i think sanatana dharma has space for all of our thought processes it is so wide we will definitely find some interesting answers i am looking forward to that and i hope we meet next time with some more interesting thought processes like this until we meet stay blessed stay happy stay healthy stay motivated thank you